Duratech Australia has had a long-standing association with the Bunbury Port Authority in extending the life of their marine assets. In 2010, Duratech was awarded a contract to carry out mooring dolphin fender replacements, along with the installation of anchor sleeves to provide additional stability to the concrete dolphins. Duratech managed the precision fabrication and coating of the anchor sleeves and boxes before they were grouted into 350mm core holes and excavated rebates. The replacement of the existing fenders included pre-drilling of the anchor fixing points using a specially fabricated precision template prior to the new fenders arriving in Australia. The installation required significant pre-planning, scheduling and the use of a 400-tonne shore-based crane, all of which required precise design and execution. In 2014, Durotech was awarded a five-year design and construct contract for the remediation of the Outer Harbour's berths 1 and 2. This project started with a structural analysis of the deck capacity and a technical condition survey of the reinforced concrete wharf piles. The pile investigation involved the extraction of concrete by core drilling with examination in a NATA accredited laboratory to determine the concrete's compressive strength, chloride content, carbonation levels, water cement ratio and cement content. Coromap analysis was also carried out to determine the likelihood and potential of corrosion of the underlying steel reinforcement. The results from all the testing determined the extent of reconstruction and remediation that was required for each pile. Access was provided by a complex scaffolding system allowing full access to the work fronts. The concrete was economically removed by hydro demolition using up to 20,000 psi of pressure. The exposed steel reinforcement was prepared by abrasive blasting before it was protected with a zinc rich primer. Severely corroded vertical reinforcement was augmented using new bars lap welded to the existing. All vertical steel reinforcement was secured with the installation of new ligatures that were welded in place. To enable the installation of sacrificial anodes, holes were drilled at the top and bottom of the piles at 250mm spacings. The anodes provide ongoing electrochemical protection to the reinforcing steel in the existing concrete. All connections were meticulously checked for continuity to guarantee the success of the anodes in significantly extending the life of the wharf piles. The next stage of the remediation was to reinstate the outer cover concrete of the pile. This was achieved using form, pour and pump techniques using custom-built steel formwork that was clamped onto the piles. A highly fluid, shrinkage-compensated micro-concrete was then pumped by a hydraulic grout pump through access holes drilled into the wharf's deck and into the formwork to reinstate the pile cover concrete. The final stage was to provide further protection to the piles by using a silane siloxane penetrative water repellent protective treatment. Durotech faced many challenges on both projects at Bunbury Port Authority, including inclement weather, high tides and storm surges, shipping movements, working from barges and stringent environmental considerations. This ongoing project will also include a review of the land-backed reinforced concrete retaining wall and a geotechnical review and remediation of the land back embankment. Durotech's technical knowledge and experience in remediation marine structures has again been realised by delivering these projects successfully for the Bunbury Port Authority.